theme of today is the prayer of the will. Believers often want to pray or shout hallelujah, hallel praise Yah to the Lord. But also many people find that they sometimes just don't feel like it. They may then feel that it would be hypocritical to pray and perhaps they may slowly go on to give up the practice. What is the point? This is where the will becomes important. In fact, this mood is something when actually you badly need to pray. But you have to train the will and say, well, nevertheless, I will pray. One might question the roots of the mood. Now this battle can be fought at different levels. Everything can be dark around you. You don't feel like praying. You do not feel any sense of the presence of God. But you can offer your will. The feelings are not there, but the intention is. Or perhaps everything seems to be against you. A lighter touch. One Monday morning, I telephoned three clergy. On, on each of the phones, there was an answer phone. There is no one to take your call, but if you leave your name and telephone number, uh, I or we can get back to you. A picture came into my mind of someone looking up into the cloud and hearing a voice. There's no one here to take your call. But if you leave your name, and telephone number, somebody will get back to you. My older daughter drew a cartoon of a schoolgirl with arms stretched out in despair, looking up at the clouds and hearing a voice. There's no one here at present, but if you leave your name and telephone number, etc. Um, some people took it too seriously and thought I was being <laughs> distracted. Um, but there can be uh, an empty sky, there seems to be no reply. There's a sense of the absence of God. Some experience it this way. But that's not new. It's there in the scriptures in the Jewish Psalms, hundreds of years before the earthly ministry of Jesus. Sometimes the psalmist complains, and it's quite blunt, sort of, why don't you wake up, Lord? Um, the Christian perspective, the divine is partly known and partly unknown. There is a saying in early Christian teaching, God is unknowable except insofar as he reveals himself. So the divine is partly known and partly unknown. Well, the battle can be deeper still. One of the poems of John of the Cross, a 16th century Spanish monk and mystic, is called in a poem, The Soul That Knows God by Faith. All around is dark. He knows that behind the creation, there is a creator but has no awareness of him. He prays in the darkness, knowing the reality, but not feeling it. It is a prayer of the will. Each affirmation is followed by the refrain, although it be night. So I can affirm what I know Though I feel nothing, and I see nothing. Why does God put this ordeal on someone? It can be for the strengthening of the character, or the preparation of some special task in the purpose of God, the result of which you may not see in your own lifetime. Even some of John's own Roman Catholic Church exiled or imprisoned him. 
So we need to understand the role of the will. I will pray. I am offering my will to God, no matter whether I feel like it. But if they want to pray, it becomes a matter of the will. Don't want to. Don't feel like it. That's a great opportunity. It's not being hypocritical because you are offering your intention to God. When we look at the Gospels, we see some of the spiritual battles of our Lord. One is the temptations, where our Lord exercises his spiritual insight. When his adversary, within or without, quotes scripture inappropriately, uh, he answers it with another scripture that is more appropriate. But the supreme test is in the account of the Garden of Gethsemane, where Jesus, in, you might say the humanity in him, would wish this cup would somehow pass him by. And then he, having acknowledged that that is how one aspect of him would wish, uh, he fights back. Nevertheless, not my will, but thine. At this stage of his battle, the disciples are little support and fall asleep. This is what he has come for. He cannot weaken at this stage. The will can also be paralyzed by fear. Peter was warming himself at the fire while Jesus was on trial. And three times he answers questions as to whether he did he not come from the Galilean group. Peter had to learn the depth of his weakness and the will to face the consequences. The terrible battle Terry White Terry White after his capture and arrest by one of the powers in the Middle East is recorded in his memories and how he had to, to the will was his best weapon to keep praying in very, very terrible conditions. The temptation to throw in the sponge is very human. In Christ, a human will be held in unwavering obedience to the divine will. The description of uh, how Jesus responds to the Father. So, if we are able freely to make our own wills obedient to the will of God, then one can obtain salvation. The prayer of the will is central to the life of prayer. Amen.